Greetings, lords and ladies, Kaiser here, and welcome to another episode of our Mountain Blade Gekko Kujo Daimyo Edition Let's Play. We are almost at 180 already. Good god, this is a long series, isn't it? But it's fun, it's really, really fun. At any rate, guys, just like I said in the last episode, I did a few things in between. So, 14 days, half past. What I did was I went into, well, our backlands, if you want to call them that, and just hunted down the Miyoshi Chosakabe um, Shimazu Lords that kept burning down our lands. God, I hate that. <laughs> uh, after which, after 10 days, I organized another feast. As you can see, a bunch of lords have already joined us here in Okayama. I also recruited an, another lord, Lord Ueda, who we gave Sumoto Castle to. Now, Lord Ueda has not yet arrived at Okayama, but a few things are, of course, going to happen. I mean, we're going to contact all of the lords anyway to come and join us for this upcoming conflict. By upcoming conflict, I, of course, mean the war with the Amako. Now, granted, due to the fact that the... Um, Truce has just finished, we haven't really had the time to poke at each other, aka we nobody has provoked either side, so our lords are not exactly gonna like what we're gonna do. Uh, in fact, I believe Lord Nakahara is actually gonna go into the minus, so that's gonna be the first lord ever, I believe, to go into the minus with us. Um... I was also thinking, like, you know, as big as the Mori seem to be, I mean, quite frankly, they are pretty big. But when you look at the world map, they ain't that big. They're really not that big. Look at this. I mean, it's a it's a blip. It's a pretty big blip, but compared to this, <laughs> oh, I gotta love it. At any rate, we are going to contact our wife, talk to ladies, minister, and affairs of state... Let me just find vassals. Blah, 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 blah. Joining prisoner. Wait, no. Where is it? Minister. Uh, but it is. Isn't this where you're supposed to? Do you have any ideas? G emissary, you vassal for treason strategist, minister, vassal, thief. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. My bad, my bad, my bad. We actually don't talk to the minister. Good God, it's been so long since we changed any sort of um no to the castle good god what is wrong with me right now it's been so long since we've changed any uh laws or rather domestic policies that i kind of forgot that you're supposed to talk with the administrator not with the minister uh, da -da 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 -da. Wait, let me just try and see nope Okay, so nobody really... We can't increase our status with anybody anymore. Uh, treasurer, no. We have plenty of money. Administrator, there we go. Alright, so let's talk about domestic policy. Um, let's change our domestic policy. So, centralize the decision grant, increase autonomy to local authorities. That is going to further increase the relation of all the lords... Uh, every once in a while, I forget what uh, what the uh, actual time is, but it is going to increase uh, the relation of all of our lords. So hopefully we manage to, you know, lower the damage that we're about to deal with the war with the Amako. Uh, grant increased autonomy. I will initiate all necessary steps. Excellent. All right. I also wish to do another thing. Let's change our domestic policy. Our government is quite decentralized. The upper class society is quite aristocratic. All right. Fine. Um, no, wait. And domestic policy. Change our domestic policy. Oh, right, we have to wait 40 days. Ah, okay. Another policy that I wanted to change was uh, quality over quantity. Because all of our lords have 300 plus units, but not all of them are really that good. Honestly, very few of them are good. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, it's going to be a little backstabby to declare war on the Amaku immediately, and just considering Lord Chichiri is right over there. But, hey... 
Uh, so how are we gonna do this? Let's just make a slight battle plan. We defeat Lord Shichiri. Is Izumo still under siege? It isn't. The Mori were actually laying siege to Izumo. Alright, so we defeat Lord Shichiri and then just... I, I say we go all the way over here to take Sasayama, Fukuchiyama, and then continue upwards towards Totori, Gasantoda, and finally Izumo. It's gonna take us a few episodes, I think. At least two or three, maybe. Um, after that, I was thinking, do we declare war on the Mori and just, you know, slowly push towards Kyushu? Or do we continue to try and have good relations with the Mori while initiating a Kyushu invasion and defeating the Ito, the Shimazo, and the Ryuzoji? So it's only the Mori versus us. But, you know, that would kind of make a, for a very, very large, um, a very, very large, whatchamacallit, uh, front, frontier, frontier, there. We'll see. First and foremost, though, the Izumo. Alright, so, camp. Uh, talk to the minister. Affairs of state. Send an emissary to the Amako clan. Did I declare war upon him? Yes, we declare war. Okay, so is anybody... Yeah, there we go. Lord Nakahara is in the negative. He's the only one, though. Uh, yeah, but it lowers everybody's. Even the warmongering ones, or rather... Martial ones. They still have honor. They know that declaring war just like that should not happen. But hey. Alright, so. Otsugawa Shogunate has declared war against the Amako. Nambu clan has declared war against the... That was literally the first clan we destroyed. Uh, Lord Kakeda is raiding around Mikata. Excuse me? Why is he over there? I, wasn't he... Pretty sure the Lord Kakeda was within our group over here. At any rate, go on. Uh, message, assemble the army here. Yes, we must gather. There we go. Alright, so everybody... <sighs> I should have... I never learned this lesson yet. You have to finish the feast first. Then declare war. Because, because we declared war... All of these lords over here, look at all these names, all of them left Okayama. And so when the feast ended, they didn't get a relation boost, including Lord Nakahara. That was a little bit of a bad move on my end. Yet again, <sighs> we're supposed to learn from our mistakes, not keep repeating them, I'm so sorry. At any rate, uh, I'll be right back, I'm just gonna contact every each and single lord and tell them to come and join us. Welcome back everyone. All right, there we go. It took me quite a while to get all of them But uh, all of the lords have been contacted except for of course Musashi Hyogonosuke um, Ueda and Tokuda probably haven't even made it to their castles yet So they haven't resupplied with anything so they're not gonna be coming just yet But first uh, thing I want to do before we go just see if there's perhaps a Slaver there is not all right in that case. Let's manage the garrison and just put all of the lords in the garrison over here. All of them. Great Lord Chosokabe, your, your clan pretty sure it doesn't even exist anymore, but hey, you're still locked up, interestingly enough. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this town does have a prisoner tower. Yes, it does. All right, good, 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 good. Leave, and we are ready. L running from Lord Kakeda, you mean from L Great Lord Otto. We meet a grin, a grin, he says. When last we met, you had me at your mercy and allowed me to go free. That was most honorable of you. Why Well, why didn't your relation increase then? I guess, yeah, I guess you're just martial. You're not honorable enough. All right, well, in that case, I say this only once. Let's do this. Take the field. Oh, uh, not too sure why I even took the field. It's like 2,000 versus, or rather almost 3,000 versus, what was that, 120, something like that. Let's just have all of our lords follow us over here. There's the enemy. Didn't expect this whole area to be so flat, honestly. Alright, how many cavalry units do we have? A few. And all of our lords are, as always, infantry. That really, that really ought to be fixed. Really should. Alright, well... 
He's down. Uh, my horse received a lot of damage. Let's just go. For whatever reason, he apparently decided to put his skirmishers on the side where we have our cavalry. I'm sorry. That was my bad. That was my bad. Bam. I, I thought I hit him. Did I miss or did he just die before I managed to? Not sure about that one. At any rate, um, let's do some history, shall we? So, last we left off, I believe I mentioned that um, Motonari retired in favor of his son Takamoto in 1557, but still retained substantial control over the clan's affairs. That's a lot of... It's a lot of spears. Why do I keep missing? Do I just keep mistiming? Or what is, what is wrong with me? At any rate, uh, throughout the next few years, the Mori continued conflicts uh, against the Amako and their now new neighbor, the Otomo. The area that saw the most conflict was the port called Moji at the far north of Kyushu. I'll show you where that is on the map as soon as we are done with this battle. Are we actually going to be able to finish him off or will it say that there he still has 30 units, I wonder? Uh, at any rate, the port, so Moji, changed hands many, many times during all of this, uh, the, during this whole conflict, but in the end it was secured by Takamoto in 1561. At that point, it no longer swapped places, I believe. Uh, while Takamoto was considering, uh, or rather consolidating, the Mori power in the north of Kyushu, Motonari used the, la uh, the death of the Amako Daimyo and moved towards Iwami and Izumo. Like I said, he did retain a lot of control. Oh, good God, really 90. Just... <sighs> order an attack without us and ah, that sounds that seems about right he managed to escape though oh well um we're we're basically doing what motonari was doing just heading straight into a mako lands <laughs> uh just from the other side in our case all right uh do we Ooh, wait a minute that was pretty good armor 4817. I'll have to check if any of our guys need that. Uh, right, so Modi was right over there. Not too sure, like, honestly, I, I feel like that was a missed opportunity to have Modi over there. It was a pretty big thing, especially between, like I said, between the Modi, the Ochi, and the uh, Otomo. Like, they kept fighting over it. Uh, at any rate, I believe that I will see you as soon as I manage to shepherd all of our lords to Sasayama Castle. So, I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright everyone, welcome back. Here we are at Sasayama Castle. Now, we did pick up Lord Iwaki and Lord Akahoshi, but a couple of lords just decided that uh, traveling for two days is already too much for them and already left. Um, we will, of course, hunt them down, or rather tell them to stop being little, um, kids and actually join us again. But, here we are at Sasayama Castle, it's pretty poorly defended, about a hundred units in there, so we'll lead our soldiers in an assault easily, and this should not be much of a problem. Now, like I said, Motonari was in the middle of his, uh, or rather, began his campaign against the Amako once again. Then, in 1563, as Takamoto was on his way back from Kyushu to join his father in Izumo, he visited Wachi Saneharu in Bingo province. Now, at Saneharu's mansion, Takamoto was hit by a quick illness. Oh, good God, I'm bad. How bad am I? And die. Oh yeah, by the way, I bought a new bow. It does 30 damage if you hit something with it. Of course, that seems to be a slight problem for us. Uh, hey, 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 we're still doing this the right way. We're still doing this properly, people. Uh, no, actually... Prepare over there. Uh, there we go. Stand closer. Move forward. 
Is that guy still alive up there? He is. Nah, uh No shooting our units. There we go. Uh, as he fell ill... So, so, as Takamoto fell ill soon after dinner, Motonari was suspicious enough of Sanaharu that he had both him and his younger brother. Ha! Ah. Um... Him and his younger brother murdered, though later, not immediately. Although the Wanchi clan was actually allowed to continue under Saneharu's son. Now, Motonari decided to name Takamoto's young son, Terumoto, as the heir of the now pretty dang powerful Mori clan. Terumoto was only 10 at the time, though. Now, Mori moves to the east continued uh, and in 1564 they launched what is known as the Second Battle of Gasantoda. The first was I believe when uh, they were still allied with the Ochi. Can, guys come on. Okay thank you. When they were still allied with the Ochi and attacked the uh, Maka together with them. That was the first one. Um, now, you know the war that more or less sealed the fate of the Ochi after they lost and the Daimyo just fell into complete depression, apparently. Uh, the second one wasn't really much more successful and Motomonari was forced to withdraw again. But in 1565, he came back to Gasantoda again, this time deciding to starve the city out. Now, in order to make sure that this would go as smoothly as possible, Motonari made sure that everyone in the castle knew that no deserters would be accepted. What this did was it made sure that there were as many mouths to feed as possible within the castle walls. Now, finally, at the end of 1566, Amako Yoshihisa surrendered and was exiled to Enmyoji in Aki province. Now, last time we stood here, we learned our lesson, I believe, that it's not good to stand on your own. And we are currently blocking the way. My bad, my bad. Though we did kill three, so I'm happy about that. Uh, here we go. So... Motonari actually died five years later in Koriyama Castle at the age of 74, so he lived a pretty long life. Uh, after seeing his clan, of course, grow from a few districts to the greatest power in the West. Now, fun fact, this is where the story of the three arrows came from. You know, it's been adopted in plenty of movies, uh, etc. Um, though this event probably never took place over here. Now, for those of you that don't know the story, it was basically Motonari gathering his three sons and giving each of them an arrow uh, and told him to break that arrow. Now, naturally, each of the three sons was completely capable of breaking their own arrow. But then, he took three arrows, put them together, and gave the his sons those arrows to break. They could not break it. Now, as you know, this basically means that together you're strong, separate you are weak. <laughs> um, now, despite having many amazing generals on his side, um, the best generals were definitely his two sons. The, the two that, um, of course, uh, had become the leaders of their respective clans, so the Koboyakawa clan and the Kikawa clan. Koboyakawa Takakage and Kikawa Motoharu, respectively. God, where, is, where is this guy? Is there just one left or what? There actually is. Okay, good. We won! Yata! Congratulations, everyone! And uh, <laughs> we're back to the screen. My mortal enemy. I'll be right back. There we go. We also, of course, contacted all of the rogue lords that just <laughs> left us for no apparent reason. Alrighty now. This looks a little bit more interesting. Plenty more defenders. How many lords do the uh, Mako actually have right now? 
because a bunch of them have been leaving the Amako clan. Still have a lot of them. All right, so... In that case, let's just wait for our army to actually get here. Small bands of enemies near Obama Castle. Obama has been looted. Well, it's kind of to be expected, wasn't it? Uh, kind of hoping that none of our lords keep go, go rogue again. Okay, yeah, yeah, please. Fukuchiyama Castle. Lord Inawashira, Lord Andol, Great Lord Amako, Lord Rokaku. All of them are in there. I like this. I like this. We'll get rid of plenty of their lords, plenty of their armies right off the bat. Besiege the castle, batter down the gates, get ready. Now if you guys can't stay here for literally these six hours, or rather until tomorrow morning, then what are you doing being a martial lord? That just does not work. Wait until tomorrow a little bit more, come on, come on, come on. Early morning? I want morning. Oh hey, another lord's coming. Alright, noon. We're doing this. Has renounced his allegiance to the Ito and joined the Amako clan. Wait, didn't he literally... Like, in between the episodes, I think he did the exact opposite. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, let's go, people. Let's go. This one's gonna be a little bit harder. What with there being about a thousand, maybe even more, 1500 perhaps? Defenders in there. There were a couple of lords, and most of them had... 300 defend uh, units in their own right. This bow is pretty good if you actually hit stuff with it. There we go, we're actually hitting stuff, hey! Okay, yeah, we definitely need qu quality over quantity. Because this is simply not enough skirmishers, or rather, not enough experienced skirmishers to take care of all of the defenders. That was a headshot. Very nice. Very nice. But what, what is the... 43? Alright, so it, it was basically 1 to 1 at the beginning, I think. We have a slight advantage in numbers. Only a slight one, though. Come on. Don't give up, guys. Keep shooting, keep shooting. You got this. Can we actually hit that guy? I wonder. Oh, we hit them, and we move them, which is not the best thing to happen. Come on. One more. There we go. Sure, st stand where he was standing, but now I'm sad that I moved our cursor. There we go. All right. Well, we are going to send our infantry and cavalry in while the skirmishers continue their work. That was a little bit too low. There we go. And it kind of fits that the very last shot we can make is a headshot. I like that. Alright, there shouldn't be any gates over there, I think. What are we on? Uh, could be better. Should be better, really. Go, men! Okay, I'm gonna take this out because these guys are tough and they are going to defend many of our blows. I think I just took out one of their lords. I'm hoping I'm not showing my back to... Yep, 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 yep. I was showing my back to some... Opala. Skirmishers over there. Not the best of ideas. But we got their backline and that's good. I always love doing these jumping attacks. Heck yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Right, we were at the two sons, right? So, uh, Kobayakawa and Kikawa. They had such a cool nickname, if you ask me. Like, uh, they were known as the Two Rivers, which is basically a play on their names. Like, for those of you that don't know, Kawa means river. So, basically, they took the two kanji from Kobayakawa and Kikawa. Uh, and named them the two rivers. But yeah, they were they were pretty badass. Um, now, when Motomari died in 1571, Terumoto inherited a massive landmass stretching stretching from Buzen in Kyushu all the way to Harima in Bizen. So yeah, pretty pretty damn large, pretty damn big. Uh, let's get through. Let's get through, guys. Let's get through. There we go. 
Uh, I'm just a little bit confused why these gates were already down. I don't think they should have been. Did you get him? You got him. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. So far, so good. 55 down. I think they're gonna be able to spawn like, I don't know, about f four or 500. They shouldn't be able to spawn more. Even though if you ask me, they should be able to. What is that guy doing? Okay, you guys clean that up. I'll clean this up. Yeah. No! Slip through me. Oh, wait. I was pretty sure that one would have killed them, but hey. Alright, archers. Hold that position. You can fire if you can, uh, if there is an opportunity, please. There we go. There we go. Well, the only reason I'm using a uh, my uh, our co cannon boy is, or is it consai boy? I actually forgot at this point. Uh, is because of the one hit power. But honestly, now that we're not as uh, clustered, pretty sure we can take our, our katana and use that. All right, uh, archers over there. Fire at the attackers, or rather the defenders that are attacking. Selling forth! Not too sure why these guys are showing us their backs. Uh, come on! Die! Thank you. Oh, come on! He wasn't defending! <laughs> Funny how that works sometimes. Alright, good, 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 good. Guys, guys, wait, 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 wait right there. Wait, right here. Archers, you can position yourselves a little bit further up. So as they come out... Wait. Are there no additional units coming out? What the heck? Oh, good god. I guess we haven't killed enough. Uh, infantry, go in. Kill a few more. Force them to come out. Should work like that. Oh, da -da 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 -da. oh, there they are. There they are. Uh, no, wrong button. Sorry about that. Let's pull them back. Pull them back out. Pull them back out. Let's go. Let's go. Come on out. Plenty more enemies spawned. Let's have our archers do something. No, we don't have that many archers left. Which is not that good. Let me just pick up a few arrows, possibly. Try and do some work as well. We're actually losing more units than we're killing right at this point. Attack! Come on! Why were these guys... Wait, did I tell them to follow me? I thought I told them to, st to like, guard or rather stand still. Well, at any rate... Uh, apart from the massive landmass that Terumoto inherited, he also inherited a powerful navy and the back of, of his Kikawa and Kobayakawa uncles. Now, apparently, Motonari's will to Terumoto was that the Mori should be satisfied with what they had and should no longer pursue more expansions. Now, at first, Terumoto had followed this, so, uh, other than some skirmishes to the uh, east, and expanding some influence there, the Mori hadn't really undertaken any larger wars. However, the main problems of the Mori would not be in the west, or rather in the east, uh, but, sorry, in the east, but, um, what am I even talking about? In the west against the Otomo, but to the east. Now let's remember that uh, what has been happening to the east while the Mori were focusing to the west. In 1568, the man named... Oda Nobunaga, yes, we all know him by now, had placed Ashikaga Yoshiaki as the new Shogun. Let me just try and get out of here. Where are our reinforcements? Good God. Archers, follow me, please. Reinforcements, here they are. Okay, let's go. Now we can fight. We're brave with backup. <laughs> Actually, I still want you guys to go over there. 
What are you ready for, huh? Or rather, preparing for. Doi! Doi! Wait, how many... Only this many infantry units spawned? Good god, how many skirmishes are then in there? At any rate, yes. Infantry, cavalry, just go in and strike. Archers, I'm absolutely fine with you staying here. Elite Amako skirmishers. Okay, so they're pretty good skirmishers, apparently. Do we join them inside or do we not, is the question right now. I think we do. Don't block the path. Keep going up. Come on, keep going. Okay. No! Okay. Gonna come back up. Don't worry about it. Uh, now, Yoshigiaki, as you know, started to resist Nobunaga and started looking for allies. The Mori being among the clans he contacted. Now, Motonari had clearly said he didn't uh, care much for Nobunaga, and Teromoto followed this rhetoric, going a step further and openly challenging him as well. Come on, guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's not looking too good. Okay, we're through. More or less. I'm gonna take out our Kanembo, just to be sure to one-shot all of these guys. Make it possible for our guys to finally get in! Sorry about that! Wait, what hit us? From the side, even. Come on! Let's go, guys! Back and forth, back and forth, just like that. Ouch, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm done. I think I'm done for a while. Ooh, we have an arrow, what is that, in our hip? I think so. Okay, sir, so they're not doing so hot in there anymore. More reinforcements are coming, though. Let's just hide, I can hear arrows being shot. Let's just hide behind here. Have our archers possibly take out a few. Uh, as we wait for the reinforcements to arrive. Look at that. God, it's gonna take them way too long to get here. No, I missed. Yeah. Got him. Oh, somebody else has got to kill him. Come on, guys. You're good enough, I, I believe. I believe. I believe in a thing called love. Alright, so the reinforcements are here. This time, apparently, we got a bunch of additional archers. We are, of course, going to retry that little assault. And honestly, considering their numbers, I'm just gonna send in the archers as well. I mean, come on, they're, they should be pretty good at fighting hand-to-hand -hand as well. We have our elite Onabushi, we have our samurai, or rather, Hatamoto gunners. I'm just not sure if this is gonna be the last attack. Pretty sure they're gonna spawn at least one more round of units. I'm a little bit weary about going in my arse myself. Because considering their defenders, like, the way this game has played it out so far, it's always made us fight in the streets and in the keep. When there's still plenty of defenders left. Okay, so apparently that was it. <laughs> All of that waiting was for nothing. I could have just sent in my archers and it would probably have been enough. Alright, so are we gonna have to fight on the streets? Yes, we are, of course. Alright, let's go. Oh, wait, this is... Ooh, straight to the keep, huh? One of our units is already in there fighting. Stay here. Very nice. Hey, I said stay here! Okay. Whew. I needed a meat shield. He died way too quickly. Alright, so one more. Probably either a skirmisher or a gunner. 
Where are you at? Yep, Gunner. Uh huh. I see you. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Outplayed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, Lord, you know what? Shiro Maku clan managed to escape. Wait, oh, wait. Everybody managed to escape? What the heck? Oh, Shihiro. Hello. Oh, no, wait. You're... You're, you're, you're not the guy that I wanted to. What's it going? Shogunate has increased. Lord Shihiro. Aha, uh -huh, so he's a Mori Lord. Uh, Owachi. Well, well, well. Speaking of the Wachis, <laughs> we mentioned this guy uh, earlier. Relation with Lord Wachi has increased. Oh, wait, so he's actually an honorable lord in this playthrough? <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, the murderer's an honorable man. Oh, well. At any rate, guys, I do believe that that will be it for this episode. Uh, it's, hopefully, it's a little bit longer. I actually wasn't paying attention to how many cuts I will, will have to make, but it should be a little bit longer than the last one. At any rate, guys, thank you very much for joining me. I have been Kaiser. I will see you guys next time. And until then, as always, Ad Gloriam. Thank <laughs> you.